Hi everyone, you know when you want to build a website, there are so many tools out there, you don't know which ones to pick. I've had the same dilemma. So I thought I would pick a tool and talk about what it's great for and what it's not and actually ask the question, why? My name is Romy and welcome back to Make Something with Romy. In this channel, we go over all the things you can make without knowing how to design or code. So in today's video, the tool we're going to go over is Card. Now I have talked about Card way too many times on this channel already, but for all of you who don't know, Card is a great tool for building websites. All right, enough talk. Let's list out the reasons why you should use Card. So the number one thing you need to know, Card is made for only one page websites or websites that look like many pages, but are actually just one simple page. If your website doesn't need to be massive, Card should be your first choice. If you're like me and you aren't a designer or developer, Card's inbuilt templates are great. The design aesthetic is clean and sharp and I love it. Also, it's not just good looking, but what I love is that it is so quick to build a professional and nice looking website. That's the biggest problem I have with other website builders. Even if you start with a really nice looking template, sometimes it takes hours to get the website you want. I actually timed myself in God. It actually just takes 10 minutes to build a website. Also, it is so easy to use. You don't need to take a course to start using card. If you know how to use your email, you can start using card. So let's talk about money and one of the big reasons why I think card should be on your list. Let's break down the costs of running a website. First, you'll buy a domain. Second, you'll use a website builder like card to actually build the website. And finally, you'll host it. Hosting is usually a monthly fee and one of the biggest costs of running a website. So let's look at some example website building costs. We have Wix, which starts at $13 a month. Uh, Squarespace starts at about $16 a month. And Webflow, which I love for different reasons, is at $20 a month. Oh, and by the way, if you start adding more advanced features, like letting people buy things on your website, it can go up to $40 a month. That's a lot for running a website. Now, here are cards costs. Card costs you $19 a year for 25 sites. Are you kidding me? Like, really? I just love that pricing. If you want to add all the possible features which Card can offer, it's $40 a year for 25 sites. Okay, so effectively, building a website in Card and having it run for the whole year can cost you less than a coffee. Uh, at least in San Francisco. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you don't care about having the card.co URL, it can cost up to $9 a year for three sites. That's nothing just to get started. Your own custom domain matters a lot when it's your personal site or your business site, but when it's a resource page like this, it could hardly matter less. So the amount of savings you will have with card could be up to hundreds of dollars annually. So what can you use card for? Before you fall into this trap thinking a one page website is really limited and you definitely need like a giant website. Let me show you some things which card can do. Quickly putting up amazing resource pages. Look, if you have less than an hour and want to put up an amazing resource page for people to take action on or just for education, card is the way to go. Like, let's take an example from the recent Black Lives Matter movement, which, and this page got tremendous amount of traffic. Or it could simply be a list of book recommendations from your favorite people. If you want to write about any topic in the world, start a newsletter and have a simple page where people can learn about it and sign up, card is the way to go. Let me show you two examples. In this example, you can see Janelle, the creator, has done a great job of explaining what to expect when you subscribe. Also, I like that she has a link with all the past issues you can read. And then this one, design is clean and eye-catching. The images are used from a design library by Pablo Stanley. We'll link to it below. 
And also worth mentioning, both of these are not using card templates, but created from scratch. The personal website. Okay, this is probably one of the most common use cases of card. If you want to build a personal website, telling people where they can find you and about your work, maybe with some social links, card is the way to go. Let me show you a few examples. Ash's website is so well laid out. I love how he has links to all his projects and where he's featured and also a way to contact him. I actually don't like a lot of text on websites, but I'll make an exception to this one. James does a great job of introducing himself and his projects. Also, you can sign up for his blog right here. Oh, and I love how he embeds a podcast, which I can listen to it from this page itself. Now, I like Yurumi's because I know what to expect in one glance. It's all about marketplaces. Also, you can subscribe to his newsletter from his website. It's short and to the point. I mean, if you can build your personal website, you can obviously build your business website. Let me show you an example of a business that has put their website with card. It's a simple business site for makers. I like how it embeds all these videos in the case study link here. And you can also read blog posts and subscribe to get more updates. I love this one. Card can be used to easily sell digital products. It integrates with two payment providers, one Gumroad and Stripe, and lets you accept payments really easily. So what can you sell? Okay, you can be as creative here. Maybe it's a yoga class, which I've covered in a video before, an online course, which only you know about, or an ebook, which you wrote and want to share with the world. I've seen people using card to accept memberships to a paid community. Anything digitally is perfect to sell with card. Let's take a look at some examples. This is one of my most favorite sites using card. I can't believe what Oscar, the creator, has done here. He's essentially selling these add-on components for card itself. But just look at how beautifully it's designed. Look at the pricing. And you can check out any of these products on Gumroad. What a stellar page. Uh, this is a simple one-page website selling tactics for marketers. Now you can purchase uh, it right here. What he's actually selling is an Airtable file with all the resources. We have looked at a lot of examples so far, but let me show you a couple of ones which kind of didn't fall in any particular category. If you have a community, you can put together the invite page using card like this person did. This person got really creative and is using card to put together a job board, which is amazing. So we've talked a lot about what card can do. Let's talk about the use cases where card is probably not the best choice to go with, especially if you don't want to write a lot of custom code. So here's a simple rule. If your website is going to be more than five pages and you want every page to have a unique URL, then don't go with card. Card is not naturally designed for massive websites. Just remember, simple website equals card. A blog. Don't go with card if you want to start a blog. Look, you can have long text sections in card, even with images and videos, but starting a blog needs more. In that case, you need to go with a website builder that actually supports a CMS, you know, uh, like Wix, Webflow, Squarespace, all of them do. And you can just choose one depending on your preference. Selling physical products means you can deal with different things like taxes, they're different for different country, state, shipping costs. For example, if you have an Etsy store and now want to use a website to sell those products yourself, I would actually prefer to go for a proper e-commerce platform, which is geared for that. It's not a complete blocker though. This wonderful person is selling these watercolor kits on card. And look, he just bypasses the complications of shipping and taxes by making them free. Oh, and I want to show you one more example of something here, which has been done on card. You need to know a little bit of coding for this one, but I want to show you what's possible with card and how you can push its boundaries. This one uses an integration called Equid. But look at this. You can actually check out products and it's so well designed. I love it. Card is limited in some design customizations you can do. Look, if you're a designer 
and have some amazing custom designs which you want to implement, I'm sorry, you may run into some limits. Let's talk about a few. First, all typefaces are not supported in card. Look, it supports a long list of fonts. But you know what? If you have a custom font and maybe even certain Google fonts, it may not support that. Card can support very simple animations for entire sections. But if you want to animate a particular element or just want balloons popping all over the page, card may not help you with that unless you write a lot of code, which kind of defeats the purpose of using card. Okay, so card templates are responsive by default. However, support for an iPad isn't built in. If you want to add custom design, you may run into limits on how much you can control the responsiveness and placement for each element. Things like a hamburger menu, they aren't supported in card. Okay, also I have to say that with some of these design limitations, card is evolving really quickly. And so support for a lot of these things may come in. Okay, in a nutshell, I love card. I mean, you all know that, but use it for the right thing. Don't try to use card to start a blog. That's not its use. Or don't try to create your Etsy store on card. It may not be perfect for that. But card is perfect when you want to keep things simple and sell simple digital products. That's all I have to say about this. And I hope this helps you to decide whether you want to use card for your next project. This is Romy, and I hope this week you make something with the right tool in mind. Oh my God. I forgot to say, please like and subscribe. Did you know that only if you reach 1000 subscribers on YouTube, they allow you to unlock all these cool features for creators? Oh my God, please subscribe. I hate saying like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Honestly, just subscribe.